Here is how I plan to make 1 million in 2023. Growing up in a council estate, living off government benefits, the younger Hannah would never even imagine or dream of such a thing. And even talking about it makes me feel so uncomfortable. But in the year of 2023, I'm gonna go back to what I used to say before and I'm gonna stop playing it safe. Let's look at the four main income streams that I have right now. So in order of what pays me the most, number one, we have trading. Number two, we have consulting. Number three, personal brand. And number four, AdSense slash YouTube. Now I'm not gonna go into each of them right now. That is not the focus of today's video, but a question I have to ask myself and something that you should ask yourself as well is out of this, what is gonna move the needle? Number one with trading, that is direct monetary growth. What I focus on is obviously my input and the outcome becomes the profit. So secondly, personal brand. Now this just pays itself in its own way that it increases awareness, my own exposure and overall audience. So again, that just complements everything that I'm kind of doing on this journey of growth. The main thing that is gonna move the needle in whatever I do, whatever endeavor I go into, whatever project is me. Uh, yeah, So there's two things that I wanted to point out because for me, I really feel like money is just a mindset game. So if I don't have this in check, then I'm not gonna get to where I wanna be, monetary. So one thing that came to mind was I have to be more mindful and more self-aware of when I use self-depreciating humor. Now, if you know me personally, you know that I love taking the piss out of myself. I love making fun of myself and I find humor in putting myself down. I've asked myself, where does that come from? And I think it's definitely been a coping mechanism growing up, but more and more recently, it's definitely been holding me back from achieving some goals or getting to that next level. And it's something that I definitely want to manage. Secondly, I wanna take more risks. I think that will definitely help me level up and build self-confidence in all areas. You know, the cliche saying that growth happens outside your comfort zone. I wanna be able to put myself in those situations for me to then create momentum, that snowball effect, and take those smarter calculated risks that overall will then just help build myself up, build my portfolio, build up my trading, and then that should create monetary growth as well. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room and it's trading. I've already specified that trading is the main source of income. It's really what drives everything right now. It's the financial vehicle that I use. Everything else is kind of like a passion project, but my philosophy remains the same when it comes to trading. It's always performance first and the profits become an outcome. They are secondary. And as you guys currently know, I am in the building phase using ICT concepts. I've been forward testing for setups and then building confidence with back testing. The amazing thing is I don't feel pressure. I don't feel like I'm in a rush. I don't feel like I'm in competition with anyone else but myself. So right now I'm really gearing up for live trading again in 2023. And I really feel like this is gonna make such a big step towards this contribution of what the title is in this video. And something that I'm always so proud to share and talk about is where I'm getting confidence to trade ICT concepts. And that is using a simulator, a software called Forex Tester 5. And you guys know I already love the software. It is honestly something that I think is just such a powerful tool in your arsenal when building out a plan, when getting confidence in your setups. Because right now I'm using FT5 as a simulator to literally purposely hunt for trades because then I can try and simulate what a real life market would feel like. Literally, I don't know. I get mind blown at the results and kind of like how my paradigm, my mental mindset is just changing. And as always guys, I'm never gonna talk about something if I don't believe in it. And I've actually hooked you guys up with a cheeky 10% discount. So make sure you go use that and get yourself 10% off Forex Tester 5. Cause yeah, for sure. It's one thing watching content. It's one thing 
building out your trading plan, but then you got to go test that. Being able to place an order, a simulated order, move partials, move to break even, things that other softwares can't really do unless you're using a back testing simulator. If you can just see a setup play out over and over again, you're already one step ahead at being a better trader and having more confidence because you've seen that play out and you've gone through the motions. So again, with trading, just building at a slow, steady pace right now, really gearing up for 2023. And I have such a good feeling about this, a gut instinct, and I feel like I'm getting confidence, all thanks to Forex Tester 5, my forward testing, and just putting the work in with trading. Now, just a little side note regarding these coffees. One of the most common things that I hear is, stop getting coffee out, save your money. I have a different view on that. And you might be thinking, how does, having a three pound coffee affect me making a million the next year well i think we can't really focus on big big things this something small like this actually has a massive effect if you think about what james clear talks about in atomic habits it's all the tiny little things we do every single day that lead to remarkable results down the line and if i can be more focused just a little bit more focused a little bit more happier a little bit more excited to start my day to start work to feel more productive and coffee does that for me, then I'm already on the right track. So the value in the three pound coffee actually equals a much more larger amount of money in the future. But to bring it back into the title of this video, overall, I just want to spend more smartly. And I know the title is gonna be a little bit out there, a little bit clickbaity, but this is my twist on it, my take on it. And stay till the end because I will be talking some truth about this absurd title. Now, I absolutely love picking up the camera, getting creative, but as a matter of fact, it's really for me about being a thought leader in the industry and just upping my leadership skills and everything that I do when it comes to being on social media and just to be this kind of hope or light in this industry that can get so dark. Something that I'm actually so grateful for is the fact that I have documented for the past five years my entire trading journey, life journey. To bring it back to the title of this video, I'm really excited to just take my content further, to then reach a wider audience, to then just grow myself in leadership, to be able to partner with bigger, better, cooler brands, um, and just offer a fair exchange of value. And look, this whole social media influencer kind of thing is such a funny thing, isn't it? But I'll always remember and remain to just be purpose-driven, value-driven. And I feel like putting myself on the front line, especially being a female trader, but just sharing real life stuff, my day-to-day, -day, I feel like we need that more in the industry. So I'm very excited to see what 2023 has to offer in terms of content, partnerships, collaborations. But just getting in front of like a wider audience but the right people and i feel like that's gonna again pay itself tenfold just being around the right people working with the right people <sighs> right are we filming are we filming yes we are I want to share some context as to kind of why I chose this absurd, crazy, out there title because it's not usually quite like me. I was actually inspired by other creators in all sorts of different fields, kind of sharing their views, their plans on what they're going to do in the coming years to get, I guess, grow. So I kind of wanted a way to share kind of what I'm going to be focusing on in 2023. And it just happens that this kind of was trending, this kind of title. So I kind of chose that to be my video title. Even though it cringed me out so much every single time I had to mention making a million in 2023. Let's say that that wasn't the title, the value still remains the same. Everyone wants to make a million, right? But in 2023, I don't know. All I can really control is myself, my mindset, my performance, me taking action, me taking those risks, me putting myself out there. I'll never really want to put a time limit on it 
you know? It could happen next month, it could happen next year, it could happen in the next decade. But yeah, absolutely no lies here, like trading, keeping it simple and just continuing to like work on our confidence with execution and refinements for the new year using Forex Sester 5. Again, cheeky discount, first look in the description. Hannah 10 to get 10% off. And in terms of personal brand, I know I mentioned um, awareness, exposure, and audience. And I know that kind of sounds very self-centered, but let me give you guys another perspective because exposure and awareness on what it's truly like to be a trader, exposing the positivity in the industry, the good in the industry, the light in the dark, and being able to like pave a way and lead that, I think is actually gonna pay itself. And I know I say that, and you may think pay itself in terms of money. And I know that the title is regarding money, but I mean pay itself where we can start to plant those positive seeds of hopes into people thinking about trading, into people who are thinking to go for their personal development journey or their entre entrepreneurial journey. And I feel like that will create a snowball effect. An oat flat white, please, to have it in. Um, yeah. I don't know.